today I would love to speak about uh, the importance uh, of habits but not in the usual way that we know that it's important it is essential uh, to change uh, our habits uh, because these are uh, uh, influencing uh, massively our life uh, in the present and uh, in the future times as well but specifically I've noticed uh, uh, as a um, some of you know I also run uh, um, the Art Spirituality Center, which is a social enterprise based in Edinburgh. And for all the people that uh, come and attend to our classes and workshops, uh, we collect data. So we ask uh, some questions. And among the questions that we ask, uh, one of the questions is why? Uh, what is your goal for attending uh, uh, your purpose? Uh, for attending this class and uh, I can say that uh, 95% the answer is to um, get rid of the stress or relax and quite rarely people uh, say that they attend a class to learn new things so to do a work of personal development which of course then happens anyway without specifically being aware Different is, for example, when uh, people are enrolling in a, in a training, like the practitioner training uh, that I teach or some other courses where over there the purpose is specifically to learn. But in the old times, uh, I can also say about myself, when I was going uh, uh, to, to classes or to workshops, it was always to learn uh, new things, uh, always to do a personal uh, work, a personal uh, uh, development to dig inside myself uh, specifically because I wanted to learn a new technique uh, or I wanted to learn a new practice uh, and um, nowadays things have changed nowadays people uh, um, are more likely to uh, be in, uh, in a, oh, we've got a visitors here we've got a dog uh, are, um, more likely to enroll uh, in, a, in a class uh, because they want to forget about the busy life, the crazy life that we all have uh, uh, during our week. So it's a moment to um, shut the doors and simply to isolate ourselves, even if we are in a class attending the class with other people. And this is, of course, uh, because we are running too much. And I'm saying that uh, to myself as well as a first person, because we have got too many things to, to, to do. We, we are masters uh, in uh, um, placing a lot of things on our plate. And, uh, and this is very much connected also to the topic of uh, uh, practicing spirituality, or uh, if we need to speak that uh, in, a, in, a, in a Buddhist way to, to practice uh, the, the so-called Dharma, um, that in order to do that, uh, we need to have the favorable conditions to do it, which are, for example, uh, primarily the needings, uh, that the ne our needings are satisfied that we don't need we need to uh, have food we need to be warm we need to have a house we need to be in conditions for which we are not worried our um, main first needings are satisfied otherwise we constantly work to pay the bills to pay our rents to pay our utilities to pay our daily um, request of uh, um, satisf satisfacting uh, the material world i would say and so this is one thing so in one limit in one extreme we are uh, we don't manage to we normally say find the time or find the space to practice spirituality to do an inner work uh, to work on our discipline to change uh, uh, and include good habits in our life because we are too busy working and taking attention on this side of our life because uh, we don't have a choice. This is of course what we always say. And on the other hand, uh, um, we also, when, when people have too much, when uh, the amount of material uh, world of richness is too much, then people are too much worried to um, take care about them and they want more and more and more. So this is the other extreme in which people as well don't have interest, not even time over there because they have money. 
to pay someone else doing their, the things that on the other side of the scale uh, we are obliged to do. But they don't have any more interest and the only interest becomes more profit, more profit, more profit. So trying to be in the middle and nowadays it's even more difficult because of the cost of the living crisis, because of all the situations in which uh, the system is squeezing us, uh, trying to be in the middle of this situation uh, uh, is uh, it, 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 it's very difficult and so the, 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 the fact of uh, changing and developing uh, good habits uh, has not only an effect for us in our daily life uh, because of course when then we um, don't change our habits uh, even if then emotionally or mentally we are fine uh, then maybe our body is not fine uh, and then maybe our body is asking us to pay attention to things that we keep ignoring or for some of us mentally and emotionally we are also not fine so physically we are but emotionally and mentally we are not uh, and in some situations is the three elements all together so when we are really in a very uh, intense uh, uh, case um, so this important of course of paying attention and start changing the habits not all together because those are the majority of us, uh, what we do, we start when there is the, the, the beginning of the year, the resolutions in January or after summers, we start saying, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and we come out uh, with a list that is pretty much endless of an ideal, perfect life, life with all the things that we want to do. But we know that uh, scientifically they say that for each habit to become a habit, we need 66 days. But then we always need to start with one. And once one has been integrated in our life, then we can add a second one. Because other otherwise, uh, starting to change all the things all together uh, is too much, is too much. And then we just decided, okay, it's enough. I will start back from next Monday and next Monday and next Monday. And then things uh, never change in general. Well, if we start with one, not necessarily can also be the simplest one. And then after three, four months, we add a second one and so on and so on then things will be uh, more effectively changing in, uh, instead of putting uh, all together things on, on fire. And then of course it's, um, it's important to change habits also for the future generations, not for us, also because we are being uh, that live uh, in, a, in, a, in a community for the majority of us, so we are, have the power of influencing the people around us. And our bad habits influence the people around us and so on and so on and so on and so our habits spread out in the society and are passed on over to other people and this is just like uh, the expansion that comes from one generation into the other one because we inherit also a habit from our family from our ancestors and even if we think it's difficult to change habits for ourselves it's essential that we do that for the future generations because by changing one single habit up nowadays we have the power of influencing the people that we come uh, after, after us and not necessarily only those that are connected with us that are in our blood lineage but also the people that are uh, uh, will be part of our community on, uh, on a large scale.